Speak Indo podcast is a medium to think about life while learning about the Indonesian language and culture. Hi, I'm Natasha, the host of Speak Indo podcast. The first part of the story will be narrated in the Indonesian language. The second part will be in English. The transcript is available on our blog, speakindo.life, and our YouTube, Speak Indo channel. Season 3, Episode A9 My Grandfather's Auto Repair Shop. Kakek aku mempunyai bengkel bernama Bengkel Santoso di kota Semarang, Jawa Tengah. Waktu aku kecil, saat aku berlibur, aku ingat kakekku sering mengajak aku dan sepupuku membeli makanan atau beli es. Biasanya kami berhenti dulu di bengkel karena rumah kakek sangat dekat dengan bengkelnya. Usaha bengkel ini bisa menghidupi keluarga kakek dengan 8 anak. Padahal zaman dulu, Kebanyakan orang masih berjalan kaki atau naik sepeda. Aku ingin bertanya ke kakek, apa yang bikin kakek bisa berani buka bengkel di saat jalanan masih sepi dan hampir tidak ada mobil lewat? Sayangnya, keinginan bertanya ini malah muncul setelah kakek dan nenek sudah meninggal. Hingga sekarang, bengkel ini masih diteruskan oleh sepupuku. Buat aku, Bengkel ini salah satu memori legendaris mengenai kakekku. The next one will be the English version of the story. My grandfather had an auto repair shop named Santoso in Semarang, Central Java. When I was little, every holiday, I remember my grandfather taking me and my cousins out for food or ice cream. Usually we would stop by the auto shop first as grandfather's house is located close to it. This auto repair shop was grandfather's livelihood, supporting all of grandfather's eight children. Even though in the olden days, people were more often on foot or rode bicycles. I wanted to ask my grandfather What made him decide to open an auto shop at a time when the roads were still quiet and there were almost no cars passing by? Unfortunately, this question only occurred after grandfather and grandmother passed away. Until now, the shop is still being managed by my cousin. For me, the auto shop remains one of the more legendary memories of my grandfather. As this is one of our additions, as we are still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, we'd like to extend our deep condolences to those who have lost their loved ones. This is definitely a very difficult time for everyone, and we can only hope that soon we can all heal as nature flourishes. Probably one day when we look back, we learn that how valuable is the time that we have to hug our loved ones, to be kind to our fellow humans, and to thank the sun for shining upon us. I'm Natasha, your host of Speak Indo Podcast, and we would like to thank our guest speakers for sharing their story. If you like the story, please share it with your friends and family. The transcript of the story is available at our blog, speakindo.life, and our YouTube, Speak Indo channel. You can subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any upcoming episodes. These are our stories. What is yours?